The approach is O'Neill. Great Domini. Welcome to your castle here at Dover. We have prepared for you uh, fresh clothes, uh, so that you may be ready for those you are to meet. Uh, well... Cheers, thank you. I uh, need to get this clobber off. Um, where... <coughs> may I rise, uh, Great King? Yeah, you can rise now. Yeah. Okay. If you would step this way, my dread lord. Uh, okay. If I may. Well, you had a good day today, or...? A little rushed, my Lord King. A little rushed. You have been busy. Uh, as ever, my Lord King, your whims of where you wish to be are uh, our pleasure. I take it all the piss has been washed out. Sorry? Of course. The piss. Which is why it is so white, though. What piss is it? It is the urine contributed by all members of your household, my Lord yeah. King. Have you pissed on it, Daniel? I pissed on it myself, my Lord. You, you Makes pissed? the colour so white. Have you pissed on it? Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't smell. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you're bleon to a tunic, my Lord King. Love a tunic. Next. Something for a little extra luxury, a super tunic. Your mantle. Incredibly comfortable. So, where's me crown? Here. Yeah. Here we go. Your Highness. Quite a heavy crown, as it should be, I suppose. And, uh, now how do I look? Quite magnificent. The ruler of all. The greatest king in Christendom, without any doubt. My lady, you may enter the king's presence. <laughs> Young Laura. <laughs> My lord king. How do you feel? I bet you're freaking out slightly inside. I have to say, you look more imposing, significantly more imposing than you did in your own clothes. You, f you, you feel it. I don't know what it is. It's quite a lot of layers. Yeah. But uh, you suddenly feel quite large in stature. And uh, the, the thing about uh, the urine... Uh, it's a okay. natural bleach, and then if you rinse it a lot afterwards, it, you can get rid of the... So you would have been happy to be wearing piss? I doubt he would have thought about it much. No. Yeah. Different age. You know, other people dealing with the piss, he'd get the nice white robe. So would Henry have constantly been surrounded by people. Absolutely, yeah. People of all kinds. People with very specific jobs. People to bring cups of wine, people to take the chamber pot, people to be on hand for whatever he wanted at any point. But you can tell also this is the bedroom and it's a huge room. There's no kind of expectation of small private rooms. Everything is public in the sense that the king is always surrounded by people. I'm Henry sure he was... must have had moments when he's like, get out and I want to do it on my own. He definitely did. He was known Sorry, for his temper. <laughs> Just uh, surveying my kingdom, because I own everything. I own a lot from Scotland down to the Pyrenees. So I thought I'd just have a little pipe about. Have a look at all my peasant friends who love me and adore me. You know, that Beckett story, is, is, it's done me, that has Henry shouting his mouth off and being misunderstood. I mean, I, I've been a bit trappy in the past, so I, I get that. But. I must say, I quite like this whole royal thing. It was a bit weird when I first walked in the room and you've got these people just, you know, on their knees and obviously I don't know the rules, so those, you know, I've got to tell them to stand up. I mean, they're waiting on you every single word. Um, I soon got over that and I really started to enjoy it. I do feel a little bit like the king of the castle. You can't help it, really. It's just, it's a real treat. <laughs> 